every night I cry myself to sleep, because Capcom hasn't announced a Resident Evil 2 remake. Now we have Resident Evil Revelations 2. I mean it has Claire and it is a horror game, but no tofu mode so I'm not really happy. The game starts with a commercial, then they're at this fancy dinner party. Claire is there and Barry's daughter Moira. They do something, but I couldn't really pay attention because you know what? That's a really nice place they got there. Right, it's just a really cozy dinner party. Are those mahogany walls? How lovely. Ooh, shrimp and champagne. These guys sure spared no expenses. So guys with guns show up and start shooting. Completely ruins this nice dinner party that I assume some small catering firm worked days on. Oh yeah, they drugged Claire and Moira. She wakes up. So she's in this dark place. She's in a prison cell. She walks out of the prison cell. You hear Russian and then you're like, I fucking knew it. Then you see Moira, she's like, oh my god, help me, I'm, I'm stuck in here, please, please. So you kind of assume that, oh, I'm going to travel around this place, I'm going to be looking for a key, then I'm going to find it, and I'm going to free her. Then the prison cell just opens. It's the biggest plot twist in the Resident Evil universe. So, why are they here? Does it have something to do with the corporation they were working with, and these guys that stormed through the window? I highly doubt it. So, this Russian place is filled with monsters, and here we can see the massive generation gap between Moira and Claire. Moira is all like, oh, this is so spooky, I'm so scared right now, this is yeah, super scary. But Claire's reaction is more, Russian zombies now? God fucking damn it, every fucking day for 13 fucking years. Holy shit, what the fuck? Hey Claire, would you like to do the bookkeeping today? No, I would like to go out and fight some Russian zombies. Yay! Fuck off. So we can really see this when Moira declares that she doesn't want to use a gun. A normal person's reaction would be more like, You what? Not really the time nor place, Moira. Not really the time nor place. But Claire is more, well, Moira wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. Instead, she gets a flashlight and this turns out to be very effective. And that leads me to make a public service announcement. Listen, I know that many of the people listening right now are not East European villains. But if you are, please, if you get a secret base, buy some good lighting. Otherwise your monsters will not be used to light and they will be defeated by a goddamn glow stick. Then again, I don't know. These monsters might be super friendly and they are just hostile because of the terrible work environment. So the first episode is split up into two, and in the second part you play as Barry, also known by non-fans as Jill Sandwich Guy. Which they then decided to remove in the remake, even though it was the best part of the game. It's like remaking Resident Evil 3 and removing Nemesis. So Barry meets this child named Natalia. She is a child in a horror game, so obviously she has psychic abilities. So here I have to say something positive, it's like, I really like the feeling you get when you play as these two. It's like Capcom has really captured what it's like to not have anything to talk about. This is of course the first episode, I think it sets up the mystery very well. For example, when are they, where are they, what are those, will the catering company eventually get paid? Obviously the biggest mystery in Resident Evil is still there. So, the plant is inside the barrel, and it's still in a pot. Who waters them? Oh yeah, raid mode. Uh, when I heard about raid mode in Revelations 1, I assumed that we were going to be like 25 Jill Valentines, and we were going to storm an oversized Wesker. That wasn't exactly true, sadly. But in this game, no, it's still not true. Maybe in Revelations 3, but I think it's very brave that an action series like Resident Evil tries out a horror game. Very fascinating. But anyways, if you're interested in this game, you should probably check out another review. And that's the Killian Experience. I will probably do episode 2 next time. Uh, maybe not. Maybe in two weeks. Probably two weeks. You know what? Yeah, two weeks. <laughs>